What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. So we are taking a look at the match pass today and explaining what it is and explaining why it could be a bit of a game changer for the series. Not just now, giving a bit of content and giving people reason to actually play matches just one after the other and not tap out or not even like quick games or just even if you're winning, losing or drawing, it doesn't really matter um, that you'll be able to do it. So we are actually going to take a look at the match pass, which we see here um, is in missions. There's a new tab for missions. You've got debut missions, just learning the basics. You complete all those, you unlock debut missions too. But this match pass is a separate thing completely, right? So we actually, if we go back, right, way back when to, to, to when they first announced to when they first announced the match pass way back with eFootball 2022, right? You've kind of got a similar a similar kind of layout for it now, except it's got a, a little bit more graphically pleasing, and you can see that there's a lot of other stuff that's going to be coming to it as well, right? But I'm going to tell you why I think this could be a game changer, genuinely, right? So just to explain it to everybody, obviously, the match pass is simply a, a, a version of like a feature that you basically play matches and you get rewards. It says it here, play matches and earn rewards. So it's not that, you know, like it's not that complicated, right? So we've played two matches with just a regular match pass. Everyone gets the regular match pass, but there is also a value match pass and a premium match pass. So the value match pass is 250 coins. The premium match pass is 500. Now that will, with the next update, the next match pass on the 15th of December, this match pass price and, uh, will be different, right? So the value match pass will go up from 250 to 500, and then the premium match pass is going to go from 500 to 1,000 coins. Now, they say that back here, in case anyone is asking about it, they say it on the main screen where they talk about the match pass here. It says, get your hands on a wide variety of rewards by completing the indicated number of matches within a certain period of time. By unlocking value and premium match passes, you will, you will be able to earn even more rewards. As a special offer, you can now get 50% off your first value match pass and premium match pass. And that's it. So note that the amount displayed at the time of your first match pass unlocking will be the discounted price. So this price is going to go back up to 1,500 respectively. So just keep that in mind, lads, if you are planning on buying one of these every month. Because it's going to be the same as you see there. It's running for practically a month and then it's going to reset. So your objective with this match pass is to do nothing else only play 50 matches. Once you play 50 matches, you will have everything unlocked in the regular, you'll have everything unlocked in the value, and you'll have everything unlocked in the premium. Obviously, you need to buy the value and buy the premium to unlock those to then start earning. So they do stack up. But once you get the premium, if you do end up getting the premium, on the 50th match that you play, you are going to unlock 50 coins, and then you're going to get another what, one, two, three, four, about 20 plus more rewards with the premium one. You're actually getting your money back with the coins, if you want to look at it that way. You're getting 200 uh, coins back, basically, from here, and 250 there. So obviously, you get the one with the value there. So the reason why I'm thinking that this could be a bit of a game changer, lads, right, is if you actually want to go in and unlock the value match pass or the premium match pass, you're also they've also shown you here that you're going to be able to get uh, players with it. So Garrett Bale looks like an absolute monster here. Tadic looks like an absolute monster here as well. These are cards that you can only get within this match pass. You can't get them anywhere else. They're special versions of the cards. You can see there they've got team, team play style, proficiency. Um, they've got 25 levels to go up. They're called all-time greats November 22. So they're going to be recycling those. And then you'll have all-time greats December 22, all-time greats January 23, and however long they leave it going. But this guy looks like an absolute monster and you can't get him anywhere else. The same with Bale. I see a lot of people talking about Bale. He looks like a bit of a meta player, lads, for the way the game is playing at the moment. Apart from his standard form, he does look extremely good. So, yeah, that is it for, for kind of the match pass. The reason why it kind of excites me, lads, is that if you want to just, like, get this, you play 10 matches without spending a bob. And you're going to be able to get a 3-star player, another 3-star player. You're going to be able to get, what, 6 seven, eight, you're going to get seven, so you're going to get about what, 30,000 trainer points, and you're going to get two three stars and a four star agent, with this agent, it's a nominating contract, you can actually get one of these players that's four star, so it's just a bit of, it's just a bit of content man, it's just a bit of variety, and it gives you, oh I might get Belhanda lads, he used to be a monster in the old Pez games, yeah I might get him, so it's just a mixture of the players, and to be honest, look, I like what they're trying to do, the gameplay, 
I'm still kind of enjoying it, but content wise, you do need content, man. You need to keep eyes in front of the screen. You need to keep people logging in to play it. There's so many other games out there now. You've got Warzone, FIFA, God of War, the new Pokemon game is coming out. There's so many games out and coming out in the next six months that if eFootball is going to do this, they need to expand this massively. But I do like the idea of it, man. I do, I must say, I think it could be a game changer. Like, for instance, right? You talk about in December. Instead of Bale or instead of Tadic here, imagine you have a value match pass with a prime version of Castolo from Pez 4. You know what I mean? Are you from Pez 6? Or you have Minanda? Or you have uh, a classic, you know, my club player from back in the day or something like that. Or they have like a special pair of boots that you can put on your player just for visual stuff, cosmetic stuff. Um, you know, similar to how Fortnite does it. Because I think at the moment, what's kind of missing from eFootball is the content and the fun that you can have with it. Like, it's like a Warzone, man. Like, you go on, you see that Neymar and Pogba, Snoop Dogg, all of those are going to be like, you know, you can run around the map as them. And it's just a bit of fun. It's a bit of making money for them. And obviously, it's completely optional. I think with the regular match pass, I think having just basic rewards in it is fine. It still gives people a reason to play 50 matches every month, which is a lot, let's be honest, right, for the average player. But the value in the premium ones... They could really like throw the boat out because you're actually getting people to pay for them. You know, you could have like, let's just say you could unlock shirts in it, classic shirts. You could unlock classic boots, classic balls. Um, I think it's probably a step too far with the direction that they're going, that there probably won't be like penguin heads like the old Pez games. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think like even the return of the old legends, maybe have Castolo as a, as a classic card that you can only get in these match pass systems yes people will complain that it's behind the paywall and all that but it's optional you don't need to buy castolo uh you can buy 10 people that play like castolo it's just that nostalgic factor that you know people that are willing to spend coins can get it and then maybe have it like every second match pass you can actually unlock you know something in the value or the premium one you can unlock one slot in it i mean they could really do a lot of stuff here genuinely they could do a lot of stuff here um and even in this value one here like you're spending 250 this month you're going to get in your coins from 25 on is it or 30 on so you're getting 50 you get 50 50 is 150 200 and then you're obviously stopping at that so you're getting 200 of your coins back so it's only costing you 50 with that one and it's the same with the premium one you're getting 400 back for the premium one so yeah let me know what you guys think would you like to see castolo and legends come like that would you like them to you know be free would you like would you be interested in paying for it in the value or the premium what other content would you like to see because i definitely think it could be a huge idea for it and yeah that is it for me i'll be back quite soon let's hope you enjoyed this video basically all you have to do to unlock these is play matches and that's it so i will talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe peace